What's going on guys? Matt here. So today I'm actually gonna do something to my wheels which I've been wanting to do for a while. But I want to paint them black but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not. So what I did was I went ahead and purchased this product called Plasti Dip. Which is basically like rubber paint basically. So you spray it on and it, it, if you don't like it you just peel it right off. You don't have to really, you don't have to sand anything down for it to stick or anything like that. It just all works very easily and very uh, well. So I went ahead and picked out some of those cans and and going home right now to possibly do that tonight. I'm not sure if I was gonna do that tonight or tomorrow or what, but if I do it today, you'll definitely see it. Or actually, when I do it, you're definitely gonna see it. So yeah, that's basically what I've been up to today. I had school this morning and uh, done with that early. It's about noon right now. So, yeah. I just remember that I should have a package when I get home, which is always a good thing. I love getting packages. Am I, on that, am I the only one on that boat? Everyone likes getting packages, right? I just got home and got a package from Aramex. Pretty sure it's from China and I'm pretty sure it's a shirt that I ordered uh, from digitalrev.com, which is a website I, or a YouTube channel I watch a lot. So. Pretty sure that's what it is. Been waiting for that for a long time. And I think it's here. And then I should have a mic stand coming in later today. That's what um, I ordered for my Yeti because it, I just don't like the way it's taking up space on my desk. And I also don't like that if I touch my desk or if I touch something that it's sitting on, it always um, picks up the vibration and then I basically ruins my video. So. I want to keep it up off anything. So, uh, that's what's going on right now. So this is a rundown of everything I bought today. Not very much stuff. I bought, I went to a car store, or auto shop, and bought some brushes for the wheels, so I can get into all the nooks and crannies, because my wheels have little spokes, which are kind of annoying to clean. And I bought some more tire shine foam, because I ran out. Um, and then I bought five cans of Plasti Dip, which hopefully will make my car look a little bit better, or a little bit more the way I like it, or want it. It looks good right now, but I, I don't know. I'm never satisfied with anything, so I have to keep changing things until... Actually, there's no until. I always want to keep changing things. Funnily enough, this is the first stuff I've actually bought that I wasn't allowed to buy before I was 18. And it's only almost been a year since I've been 18. So, shows you how much I do. Actually, that's a lie. I did buy a lotto ticket, but that wasn't even for me. That was for one of my teachers. That's a weird story. I was at a party, and then my, one of my old teachers from high school was there, and he asked me to buy him a lotto ticket. So, I went to the store and bought him a lotto ticket. That was a really weird experience. And some of my friends, if anyone watched this, uh, would know who that is, but I'm not going to say his name. Alright guys, so I'm out here about to start doing my emblems. I'm going to wait for a little bit to do my wheels. But I'm going to start out doing my emblems. So, I'm going to start out with the big Mazda. I actually brought out a chair because every time I work on my car that involves bending down or something, I just get destroyed. And I just hurt for a long time afterwards. So, I figured I'd bring a chair and make everything a lot easier. So I've got it masked off now, but now I need to take knife and carefully trace through all this so I can get all these scraps off. Um, this is plastic dip so technically you don't really have to mask off anything because you can just peel it right off but it's probably gonna make things a lot easier if I just do this right so that's what I'm gonna do. Alright guys so it's turning out pretty good. Um, kinda messed up on the big emblem which is the first one I started on but I mean you can't really tell. I could tell just because I did it and I'm a super perfectionist and I'm crazy about these things but it doesn't really bother me and I bet you probably can't even see where I messed up on but it looks good I'm done with this one just letting it kind of dry a little bit then I went to this one which is a turbo badge I'm on the second coat of that I'm gonna do five coats and then I went over here to the Mazda Speed 3 badge which this is the first coat and I'm about to put a second coat on this one so what I did was I started on this one and I did most of it here but while I waited for the coats to dry on this one I went ahead and taped off this and then I went over here and then taped off this while I waited for this one to dry. So 
kind of got a system here so it doesn't take forever and I could do more than one at once. Also with this stuff, you could see that I didn't tape, well I don't know if you can see it, but I didn't tape all the way off so I didn't cut around the, the badge itself. I actually let it um, stay there. And the reason is because with the tape, when you peel it off, it's actually going to bring all the residue with it, leaving the badge itself by its, uh, by with the paint on it still. So it's just really easy that way. And the tape gives the paint something to adhere to so that when you peel it off, you have a nice seamless way to peel something off. So it's really easy and makes the cleanup process a lot better. Okay, so I've got all the coats done. I started peeling this one off, and it looks pretty good on video, but in person it looks kind of crappy. I might do it again, and what I'm going to do this time is not mask it off so carefully. I'm just going to kind of leave a square around. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do that, because it doesn't look bad, but it could definitely be better. But depending on how these come out when I peel them off, I might do this one again, because it's, uh, it's not to my liking. But hopefully these ones turn out a lot better. Because I, I don't know, this was my first thing ever with uh, this stuff, so hopefully these ones will turn out better. So it actually already started peeling because I got kind of like an air bubble, so I'm going to go ahead and peel this off and show you guys how it works. So I'm just kind of peeling it off, and as you can see, it peels right off. So once I get enough to where I can grab it, it should peel off. So there you go. You see, it just kind of peels off, goes back to normal. Just the way you left it. Didn't have to sand or anything. Ooh, lots of cars going by. Anyway, so just peel it off. And there we go. It's just like nothing happened. So that's why this stuff is so good. I just want to show you guys how awesome this is. So I just started peeling it and it's actually doing exactly what it's supposed to. So it's kind of peeling slowly. And it's going right in the way, or right along with the badge. So these two came out absolutely amazing and I really like the way they came out this one's coming out really good too just gotta wait for it to dry I'm on the last coat right now just waiting for it to dry and once I get off then I'll have black emblems in the back and then I'll just have to do the front one but that shouldn't be too hard now that I think about it I can just take that one out because these ones are glued on but I can actually just pop that one out of the placeholder and just do it right now just popped out the front one it's got bugs all over it which is kind of gross but once I clean that off, it's actually bigger than the front, I mean, than the back, which I, I don't know, wasn't really expecting, but... So, once I clean that off, go ahead and just paint it up and be done with the emblems. So I've got the uh, emblem right here in a cardboard box. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. Maybe I'll record this one, see if I can record myself spraying it. I don't know if I already did that, but if I did, then I guess you're going to see it again. So, I'm just going to go... First coat is just really light, about 50% um, visibility through it. So, I mean, right now it barely looks like I even did anything, and that's because I really didn't. So, that's the first coat. Gotta wait probably five minutes for that to dry. Now comes the hardest part, cleaning the wheels off. This is gonna take a while. Okay, this wheel is officially clean. I just gotta put a trash bag back here, somehow fit it back there so that I don't spray the calipers. And I'll go ahead and try out this wheel. I think I'm just going to do one side, see if I like it, and then I'll go ahead and do the rest if I like it. If not, then I'll just peel it off, but hopefully I'll like it. First, I didn't really like it. I'm on the second coat for the first wheel and the first coat for the back wheel. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, but I think I'm starting to really like it. I don't know. We'll see once I finish the wheels. Okay, I'm really loving it now. I showed my dad he didn't really like it, but he doesn't really like anything I do for some reason. Until I actually do it, then he gets used to it and then actually likes it. So... I'm really loving it. This weekend I think I'm going to take them off the car and uh, do them better because I have runs and stuff. Like I said, this is my first time ever painting anything really. So, I'm probably going to do that this weekend or maybe I won't. Who knows? But there's noticeable flaws that I see, but who knows? We'll see. Alright, so I got one more coat I need to do on the front no, the back wheel. Then I'm going to roll them back, make sure I didn't miss any spots. And if I did, then I'm going to fix that, obviously. But other than that, I'm done. So, I should probably do the other one right now so I don't have to waste time, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. I mean, I think I do, but I don't know if it's worth putting the effort and taping off the other side. It is a really, really nice day outside. It's 
perfect weather. It wasn't too hot today, it was probably like 75. Maybe it was a little hard on that, but it didn't feel hot at all. It was a great day today. Well, it's not really late. Well, maybe it is. I think it's almost 8 o'clock. But I finished the wheels, and I don't know. I'm never satisfied with any work I do. I always find the flaws in it. But, I mean, anything that's wrong with it, no one's going to notice. But I did like the, um, I did like the, um, what's it called, the side mirror over here. I like the way it came out a lot. I like it all black instead of with the blue, which is um, what it was before. And uh, it matches the wheels, which I think kind of brings the car together in a weird way. So I'm doing the other side right now. And I want to get it done before I can, before it gets dark so I can see what it looks like driving by. And then my dad come out here. Whoa, look at the sky up there. It's really nice. Anyway, that was random, but yeah, I'm on the second coat of that. Wheels look amazing. Emblems look amazing. I'm satisfied for the day. Hey guys, so it's the next day. What day is it? It's Thursday. I don't have my morning class this uh, today, so I don't have to go until later, which is good. But I didn't really get to sleep in because. I don't know, I just didn't stay asleep, which kind of sucks because I'm tired. I have a concert later tonight. Yeah, so it's going to be kind of a boring day. I'm actually going to see if I can go to the dealership, uh, Chevy dealership, because I have to do this photo project. I'm going to see if I can go take a picture of one of their cars and test drive it. So if that happens, then I can actually get my project done. If not, then I have to think of a totally new idea. So hopefully they let me do that. Also, my car, I finished it last night. I stopped recording because my phone ran out of battery. But it looks really good, and I'm, uh, I love it. So, I'll show you guys later. But it looks awesome. Alright, so, I think I'm going to have to change my plan for the photo. Because my grandparents, who have a uh, Camaro, a 69 Camaro, which is what I was going to take a picture of, and I was going to take a picture of a new one, they're apparently leaving today. So, that's not really going to work, because they're not coming back in time for me to... Um, take the picture before it's due. So what I think I'm going to do is still go over there to the dealership and ask if I can take pictures, but I'm just going to change it up a little bit. So, yeah, we'll see. Alright, so here we have the car. Looks pretty good, but I just noticed a whole bunch of spots that I actually missed, so I'm going to probably fix that up right now. Definitely doesn't look bad, though. So, I'm really liking it. So I just touched everything up, and now it's looking really good. It looks amazing and these the side lamps came out perfect I'm really loving those so the other one on the other side is what has a run so I might have to change that one but it's not too bad I don't think unless it's totally noticeable in the sun no it's not too bad I don't even I doubt you could see that but it looks it looks really good I'm loving it all right well, called the Chevy dealership, and they didn't really seem too happy, but I don't know. I think they're just in a bad mood, but they said I could go over there. I don't know if I'll be able to test drive one, but that's fine. I don't really need to. That was just our fun. But, so, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get that done. What I'm going to do instead, what I was going to do originally was I'm going to take half a picture of, or not, I was going to take half of the old car and then half of the new car and kind of put them together. So then you have two pictures that are, like, related but separate. But that's not working, because I can't take a picture of the other car, so I think I'm just going to take a picture of, like, the rim and then a picture of the whole car. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Now that I think about it, the only reason I wanted to go to the Camaro is because it's going to work with my the other car, and I was going to probably get to test drive it, but since that's not going to happen, I might as well just use my car. That would be a lot easier, and I could take my time with it. I think I'll do that. Right, so I'm back from school, and gonna watch some South Park. I don't really watch the show that much, but I like it a lot. It's fun. So I'm gonna watch that until I have to go pick up my sister from school. <sighs> Boring day. Hey guys, so I had my concert last night. I didn't really record anything after I left for uh, whatever I was doing, because, I don't know, I just didn't have time. So the concert went pretty well. Not as good as I was hoping, but we did pretty good. Um, today, don't have school on Fridays. So, just relaxing all day. I got this book. 
that I made for my class. It's a photo project, and I did a whole bunch of Lego stuff, so... I don't know. Didn't come out exactly how I wanted it, but... It works fine. Yeah, so... That's cool. Alright guys, I'm out here. <clears throat> it's really windy, so if you can't hear me, that's why, and I won't even post this, but... Uh, scouting locations. I'm out here, kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty close to my house, but just a nice little road that I like to come on. Um, so yeah, you probably can't hear me because it's really windy. So I'll end this here. All right guys, so we got about an hour left of light. So I'm heading home to either pick up my mom or dad so they can drive my car when I take a picture. So yeah. I'm out here. I don't know if you can hear me because it's still windy. I'm just driving the car and I'm taking pictures and I think it's gonna turn out the way I want. Hopefully it does. Hey guys, so I was just about to shoot my ending to this video, and then my cat decided to jump up onto my desk. So yeah, don't mind her. Anyways, I got back from shooting the car shoot, and I only needed one picture, and I think I got it, so it's pretty good. I think I might go out again, though, because every time I post or take photos, and for, like, serious photos, then I usually post them to a few forums just to get an idea of what I should change, because I'm still I'm not... I'm not a beginner, but I'm definitely not a full professional yet, so I just want to get tips and make sure I'm doing everything the best I could possibly do. So there's a few things that a lot of people pointed out that I think I might try to change just so I can get the best grade on this because it is for actual grade. And my teacher is very anal about things like that. So, yeah, maybe I'll do that tomorrow, but they need to get printed because it's due Tuesday. Anyways, uh, cat tail. Anyway, so I think I'm going to end this video here. Uh, kind of a lot went on, and um, a lot about my car, so I think I'll name this one something that has to do with my car. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, and make sure you guys subscribe to my iTech224 channel, that'll be below in the description box. Um,